Hello, my name is Mark Master, and I want to take this time and thank you for coming to our class and welcome everyone. If you're in one of my principles courses, such as principles of marketing, I want to welcome you. And if you're more of a major specific course, I want to welcome you as well. But there may be just a little bit of different expectations. Now, if you've had me before, you kind of already know what I'm looking for in the course. But if you have it, this is kind of set the expectations so that we could be able to work together. I always tell all my students, learn the quirks of your instructor. I'm outright telling you my quirk. I have two of them. One of them is research. I want you to do research from the online library, not to torture you, but to utilize a resource that most all universities, especially accredited universities such as Rasmussen, it's an expectation. And I know your other professors, they talk about it, but they may not necessarily enforce the rule. Now, unlike a lot of your other professors, is that this is new to you, I do give you an opportunity to learn, meaning that I do not penalize you because you do not necessarily know how to do that online research. And I'm also here to help you to be able to show you how to do it. I have videos that you could see just below this recording that you could be able to click on it and I show you how to do it. I show you how to research in the class. And then my other big quirk is APA. APA is the standard. You just have to do it. APA is just one of these things. I didn't create it, so you can't get mad about it. And it doesn't have to make sense. It's either right or it is wrong. So if you're having some challenges with APA, and this includes both the reference section at the end of your papers and also internal citation, that if you have challenges behind it, reach out to me right away and let's get this solved. You can go to your online library. They have both student or peer tutors, and they also have academic or instructor tutors or outright come to me. You have my phone number, you can text me, and you're on your way. If you get me those two things, you're going to do terrific. Now, if you see in the content section of this course, there is a student help section, and it is broken down by groups. One of them is research, just to show you how to do research. Don't learn, lose points on how to do research. And don't think that I'm forcing you to do research because I want to torture you. In my opinion, I believe research is one of those skills that's transferable to anything that it is that you do. I don't care if you're a business major, nursing major, whatever major, whatever course you take, one thing that can guarantee you and improve your grades and even your prospects for your own careers is finding answers, finding solution to problems. I work for a very large cruise company and I'm in the hiring position. I know what managers are looking for. Managers are looking for persons that can find solutions to problems. A lot of students are here, you have great careers and you just wanna move up within their own companies that you're with, or you're looking to transform your whole life, or you're here new to academics altogether. And I want to teach you this skill that could last you a lifetime. It's done it for me and I'm no better than anyone else, but two things that I've learned in my life was one, how to type, and the other was how to do research. Again, think about it in your own personal lives. Who do you hang out with, problems, or do you hang out with people that find solutions? Think about it in your own household, when your spouse, do you wanna hear about the problem that they had, or would you mind hearing the problem with some sort of solution attached to it? Your kids, if you have them, don't you want solutions? You want it done. And that's what I'm looking for. Even in my own life, when I was in undergraduate school, I sold my marketing project. I sold it to Universal Studios. And I encourage you to do the same things with your own papers, is reach out and sell them. My management professor, professor said, if you want a great job, sell your papers. That's how you get paid. And it's given me some great opportunities. And I'm offering that to you, just do research. So the two things that I want is, Research from the online library, that's ProQuest or EBSCO, E-B-S-C-O, or I want you to go to um, and learn how and know how to do APA, both internal citation and the reference section. There's an instructor out there, terrific instructor, tells you to go to the Harvard Business Review. Harvard's a great school, there's no question about it. But unless you go there or you subscribe to their library, you don't have full access to their entire papers. However, EBSCO has it, 
and we subscribe to the Harvard uh, Business Library, and you have full access to any of those, li those library resources. So if you know how to Google search, you know how to go to the online library. Since I brought up Google, Google's great, and I know that it exists. However, everyone and anyone could put something on Google. So I want you to take it up a step or notch, because think about it, when you graduate here, you're gonna be competing with thousands and thousands of other students that also have a BA or whatever degree, AA, BA degree, and who's gonna get that promotion? Who's gonna get that job? The person that knows or the person that could figure it out or that and that person that can find solutions and can think. So what I'm doing or what I'm pushing you to do is learn a transferable skill and take that on with your careers. But I want to welcome everyone to our class. We're going to have a great successful term. And before you know it, we'll already be finished. Let's have a great term and I'll see you in the discussions. I'm glad you're here and thanks for coming.